All right, so here's the situation. Gannon is way far ahead, too far for me to see him, and I have to speed walk back to the boat because I have less than an hour to make it three miles through very rough terrain on a volcanic island. And Gannon has all the water because I forgot to fill up once we got to Potato Harbor. What is this? The St. Louis Olympics? If you don't get that reference, look it up, you'll laugh. We got everything we need right here. Good morning from a little bit of a gloomy day here in Redondo Beach. I got my energy drink. I got my Gannon. And we got about an hour and a half drive to Ventura, California, where then we have an hour and a half boat ride to Santa Cruz Island. But we're running a bit late, so we're gonna get going. We'll see you guys on the road. All right, about an hour and a half later, we are at Island Packers in the Ventura Village Harbor. Got about an hour and a half boat ride, and they did tell us that it's gonna be a choppy sea, so I didn't bring any drama with me, but I don't really get seasick, so I'm not really sure if I need it. But I guess I like to live dangerously, so. Welcome aboard. Cue the boat B-roll. One thing to keep in mind is that starting from this moment, you are traveling to an extremely remote island where our day-to-day -day conveniences are pretty much non-existent. There will be no running water, no grocery stores, and no And an hour and a half later, we are in Scorpion Ranch on Santa Cruz Island. Not gonna lie to you, I kinda wish that would've gotten some drama me because that was a really rough ride. For those of you who don't know, there is a fox species that is only native to the Channel Islands of California called the Channel Island Fox. And due to the island effect, they are incredibly small because they don't have any natural predators they don't need to be large to intimidate them or fight them off. So a full grown fox, although it looks like a baby, it's actually full grown and it only weighs about four pounds. Full grown. So apparently there's not much shade on this island. Right now we're currently in Scorpion Ranch, which has the only trees on the entire island. So, I have a hat. I don't care how stupid it looks. I don't want to get sunburned. I've spotted my first tiny fox. It just ran across the road in front of me. I'm gonna go get the big lens on. We're gonna take some pictures. You wanna see pictures of tiny foxes? Follow me on Instagram down below. All right, I switched to my camera for vlogging because I can't exactly vlog with this on. I just saw the tiny fox over here though. I'm on a mission to take a picture of this tiny fox. I forgot my hat, I'm gonna go back and get that. Tiny foxes right there. It doesn't care because they don't have any natural predators. They're not afraid of us. We just walk right up to them. All right, tiny fox photos have been taken. Food has been ate and we're heading to Potato Harbor. It does say it's a strenuous hike and I have a feeling it's because I'm gonna have to go up there. Ask Gannon how excited he is for this. Yay. <laughs> okay, this way's Potato Harbor. About 60% sure. To be fair, that's better than most of the odds of the things that I do here. All right, figured out why they call it strenuous. Look at this. All the way around up here, over there. Not a good day to be a Gannon. Right, Gannon? Probably not. <laughs> to be honest, not that great being me either. <laughs> Just made it to Potato Harbor, and I gotta say, that is some blue ass water right there. Kinda green.
you know what? Now it's blue. Now it's green. Now it's red. Which color do you like the most? I'll make it do like a little tie-dye thing, maybe. That is some blue ass water right there, though. Excuse my hat hair, but I'm not getting sunburned today. I don't want to leave it behind, but I got to because I have less than an hour to get back to the harbor and it's about three miles away. If I don't make it back, I'm not going to make it on the boat back to the mainland. That's the last one. Gannon already left because he's slower than me. So he's going to walk ahead and try to get to the boat. Man, that's a beautiful view. All right. Time to haul ass back. All right, so here's the situation. Gannon is way far ahead, too far for me to see him. And I have to speed walk back to the boat because I have less than an hour to make it three miles through very rough terrain, very hilly on a volcanic island. And Gannon has all the water because I forgot to fill up once we got to Potato Harbor. At least I still got my hat. Ladies, I am single. I know that you're into guys with sensible headwear and I fit the bill. So I took my sweatshirt off because it was really hot. I only got about a mile left and it's 3.15 right now. So I think I'm good. Still no sign of Gannon. I hope he took the shorter trail back. I guess I'll find out when I get to the end. All right. Made it back, I can see the pier. I think I see Gannon. Good to go. Time to get on this boat back to the mainland. Bye, tiny foxes. As I watch Santa Cruz Island fade over the horizon, on my way back to the busy California coast, I remember thinking, that was somewhere special. Not because we had spent a lot of time there. After all, we only did one somewhat short hike. It wasn't the unique wildlife either. Although, those tiny foxes were worth every penny to see. It wasn't even the miles of stunning, pristine coastline with some of the bluest water I'd ever seen. As I sat there staring off into the empty ocean, no land in sight, we came into range of everyone's cell service. With all the phones buzzing and dinging, I realized what makes these islands so special. We had just spent a few hours on a beautiful volcanic island with no intrusions from the outside world. And I'd found something I didn't expect to find in California. Peace. Looking back, we were just getting started on our trip up the coast, but I don't think I was ever at peace as much as I was on Santa Cruz Island during the entire trip. I highly recommend Channel Islands National Park. If you wanna become closer to nature, see some unique wildlife, see that blue ass water that's your place stay tuned for the next episode though for our final day in la we're meeting up with some friends heading over to little tokyo then out to malibu as for this episode if you like what you saw hit that subscribe button it's free and while you're at it leave a like maybe a comment and i'll see everybody in the next one this way all right just ran off in front of the road. But it's a strenuous hike. I don't know why it's strenuous. I do. It's probably because you're gonna have to climb one of these. Just yeah, almost keep falling. All right. I think Paterda, Paterda Herber, Paterda Herber. <laughs> not a big day to begin. Big day. <laughs> We're not even at Pearl, at Pearl Harbor. We're not even at Pearl Harbor. Oh my God. I said that. I'm just gonna pretend like I did. On your left. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gannon. Tell me what sound a fox makes again. Bang. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag dark. Just made it to Potato Harbor. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what they're doing there. They're chilling. Whew. I called my sweatshirt a sweater at first and I had to cut it out because I know that Kristen would absolutely destroy me.